Hi, we're the Queen's Space Engineering team, an undergraduate-led design team from Queen's University, located in Kingston, Ontario, Canada. Our rover project team is comprised of 85 students from the faculties of Engineering and Arts and Science who contribute to technical development and team operations. This year, QSET has prioritized full system testing and competition readiness in preparation for URC 2023. This year, we have manufactured a lighter rover chassis that has additional capacity for our scientific payload and dexterous arm implements. The rover's implement bay is capable of hosting either the scientific payload or the dexterous arm, depending on the mission. The rover's suspension uses a rocker differential system to traverse uneven terrain and tight spaces. A new, flexible 3D printed wheel design provides impact dampening and improved traction in loose material. Each drive motor uses PID control to aid in turning and precise movement of the rover. In testing, the rover is capable of driving up 45 degree and along 60 degree slopes. Our dexterous arm is a 5 degree of freedom system with a new grabber capable of continuous roll for interfacing with the lander and lifting heavy loads. The arm employs inverse kinematics to determine optimal joint motion in the three principal axes. It can perform tasks such as flipping a switch, opening a latch, typing on a keyboard, and plugging in a USB. Like the drive system, the arm uses PID control to assist in manipulation of a 5 kilogram load during the equipment servicing task. All onboard systems are powered by a 7-cell LiPo battery, allowing for a tested 1 hour and 15 minutes of continuous drive operation. We're able to communicate with the rover remotely using Ubiquiti Rocket M2 transceivers, which operate on the 2.4 GHz bandwidth with selectable frequency bands. A new extendable mass design has been added to assist in operating the rover from large distances, improving our long-range capabilities. Each wheel is driven by a brushed DC motor to allow for simple control and high reliability. Dual channel motor drivers are used to control each motor individually, allowing for enhanced traction control and improving the rover's ability to traverse uneven terrain. The rover can be operated remotely using a custom control board as well as an analog joystick. A newly implemented arm position visualizer aids the driver in completing dexterous arm tasks. The camera system has been upgraded to include nine navigation and instrumentation cameras with onboard encoding to reduce computational load on the main computer. Custom current and voltage monitors allow for remote system diagnostics. The autonomous system uses a new dual antenna differential GPS, providing highly accurate heading and location information to improve traversal, speed, and accuracy. This GPS data is fused with wheelodometry data to give a continuous and accurate position estimate. The perception system uses two Intel D435 depth cameras and a new obstacle detection system to detect and avoid obstacles. A new search pattern and gate traversal system has been implemented this year, increasing the efficiency of the search and traversal component. An LED strip around the perimeter of the rover provides a visual indication of the current autonomous state. The science reactor uses a suite of four wet chemical tests to determine the presence or absence of extinct or extant life within soil samples. The payload employs a lowering mechanism, allowing it to collect soil samples without the need for an external robotic arm. Four scoops controlled by servo motors independently collect soil samples into the top of the reactor, which are then sieved into pre-filled test cubettes. The chemical reaction is assessed using spectroscopic analysis using our onboard UV-Vis spectrometer, attached to 12 discrete optical fibers, one for each test cubette. Four separated containers on the outside of the reactor store samples from each test site to be delivered to the judges. An upgraded digital sensor suite will be used to assess environmental habitability and site conditions. The scientific payload will measure temperature, pressure, humidity, and VOC content. The team has also further developed its soil and rock classification system to aid in rapid, remote identification of samples using five onboard cameras. The scientific payload performs all of its analysis in situ without exposing employed chemicals to the outside environment. Wet chemical tests will identify the presence of protein building blocks, key macromolecules, and reducing agents in situ. The bisphenconinic acid assay tests for amino acids, reliably indicating extant life at low concentrations in soil. An iodine solution is used to test for starches and polysaccharides, which can support evidence of microbial life. Results will be further validated by Benedict's reagent, which will test for alcohols and reducing sugars. A fourth chemical test for potential metabolic bioproducts will identify nitrates in situ, which are indicative of extant life. This year, QSET has placed significant emphasis on improvements to consistent competition readiness. With this in mind, we have been running and will continue to run mock tasks for each of the four competition missions. These mock tasks aim to replicate real competition scenarios. These testing opportunities have been used to create and refine three task checklists to ensure a consistent rover setup for each task. This work has allowed us to improve our overall system reliability with frequent testing to find and fix integration bugs and to determine which parts might fail during competition. Thank you to our sponsors and thank you for watching.